Hello and welcome to another episode of What Travis Says, the only show on YouTube that probably shouldn't be surprised that we're getting so much information about Doctor Who even before the new season starts. My name is Travis and let's talk about who might possibly, maybe, sort of play the new Doctor. Now I don't usually speculate about actors possibly portraying future roles because honestly, I get it wrong a lot of the time and it's usually somebody completely out of left field that I wasn't even thinking about. And when I did my video about Capaldi leaving, I had a ton of people in the comments on Facebook, on Twitter, asking me who I thought should be be the new doctor and I don't know. I don't ever know. And I've never been good at speculating or assuming who is going to be the next doctor. I jumped on this who train right before David Tennant was about to leave before Matt Smith was announced and there were a bunch of lists online of actors who people thought that were going to play the doctor, this person and this person, not many females mind you, and then boom! Matt Smith just came out of nowhere. So then when Matt Smith said that he was leaving the role as the Doctor, there were lists all over the place once again. This person should play the Doctor, this person should play the Doctor, and there were more females on these lists, but then boom, we get Peter Capaldi. Now this time, he had been a moderate favorite for the role, but he wasn't the obvious choice until he was the choice. Now with Capaldi leaving, everyone wants to know, who is going to play the Doctor? So I googled that and I clicked on the first two lists that popped up. So. Let's go through these lists. The first list is from Monkeys Fighting Robots. Haley Atwell, Richard A. 80 Olivia Coleman, Rupert Grint, Patterson Joseph, Hugh Laurie, Richard Madden, James Nesbitt, Chris O'Dowd, Tim Roth. Now that's a decent list with some high profile names and some lesser known names. Now let's read through list number two from the TV Guide. Siobhan Finnerman, James Murray, David Tennant, which doesn't make any sense, I don't know why he would be on this list, Tim Roth, Tatiana Maslany, Rupert Grint, Richard Armitage, Natalia Tenna, Lawrence Fox, Jamie Bamber, Jack Davenport, Idris Elba, Hugh Laurie, David Anders, Damian Maloney, Andrew Lee Potts. Again, a nice diverse list. They had a few more people on this list than the first list that we read through, but still, you know, kind of all over the place. And out of these two big name long lists, there were only three names that these lists had in common. Rupert Grant, Hugh Laurie, and Tim Roth, which, let's be honest, these are kind of shots in the dark, wishful thinking type people. Neil Gaiman recently spoke out saying that Sue Perkins should play the role as the Doctor because the time is absolutely right for a female Doctor. But he also added if they were looking for someone a little older, then Helen Mirren would be his definite choice. The new Doctor Who showrunner Chris Chibnall has said that casting for the Doctor will be treated just like any other role. Role, they will write a script and they will find the best person to play that part. But uh, Little Birdie told me that Tilda Swinton is actually the best possible favorite right now to play the role of the Doctor. Which echoes Paul McGann's views that not only should the next Doctor be a female, but that the Doctor should be played by Tilda Swinton. And if the Eighth Doctor says that you have what it takes to be a Time Lord, you probably have what it takes to be a Time Lord. Alright, I lied. It wasn't actually a Little Birdie that told me that bit of information. It was actually statistics. Now here's the interesting part. So there is a website called Ladbrokes Coral, which is a British-based gambling and betting website. You can bet on poker, bingo, casino games, sports, horse racing, and even Doctor Who. I'm gonna link a Ladbrokes advertisement down below. You should watch it. It's actually pretty fun. Ladbrokes spokeswoman Jessica Bridge says that Whovians are increasingly convinced that the next Doctor will be female, and a lot of fingers are pointing towards Tilda Swinton. And according to the site, Tilda Swinton is at four to one odds to land the role and be cast as the first female doctor. Chris Marshall is at 5 to 1 odds, Olivia Coleman is at 5 to 1 odds, and Maxine Peak is the fourth favorite with 8 to 1 odds. And of the handful of frontrunners that we just talked about, Olivia Coleman was the only one that was on one of those two lists that we talked about before, which means that maybe you should take these lists with a grain of salt. I guess we'll see once the role of the doctor is actually cast, which actor or actress was on which lists before this even came out. I know a lot of my viewers have been very vocal about wanting Haley Atwell to play the doctor, so in the comments down below, let me know who should play the doctor. Should the doctor always be a male? Is it time for a female doctor? And do you have an actor or actress in mind for the role? As always, my name is Travis. Thank you for listening to what I have to say, and you will see me tomorrow.